Cleaning shorelines is a great thing and can benefit a local area, but we think it shouldn't be an end unto itself. That's because all the cleanups in the world can't keep up with the plastic being produced that then finds its way to shorelines. The global plastic industry cumulatively produced 2.18 billion tons of plastic from 2011 to 2017. That's the equivalent in weight of 400 million Asian elephants in just seven years. When we clean shorelines, it improves local conditions, but it also sends a message that people can continue to pollute and others will continue to clean it up. That's why we use cleanups to do more as a tool to inform both science and policy. We do this by making just a few simple changes to our collection practice. We measure the area, collect in a systematic way, sort, weigh, and count all the debris precisely, and we share what we've learned with local policymakers. This week, we're working at Marianadu Beach in Thiruvananthapuram, Kerala, India, working with a group of students and researchers from the Department of Environmental Science at the University of Kerala. First, we measure the area. At low tide, we measure a 100 meter long width of beach, and we flag it from the high tide line to the water. We measure this so we know the total area, and we use a smartphone or GPS unit to record the coordinates at all four corners. Second, we collect in a systematic way. This means that we want to make sure we cover the whole area and that we're thorough. We create lanes at every 10 meters with flags and walk back and forth in each lane to make sure we pick up all the debris. So marine debris is clearly a big issue all around the world, and this is something that we were able to see today in Kerala, India. We saw the beaches just filled with plastics of all different sorts and all different kinds of waste. Therefore, it is really important to conduct these cleanups because the pollution differs per area. Today, we found that the main source of pollution was styrofoam. Next, we bring all the material back to the laboratory and divide it by group. Plastics, metal, glass, and so forth. We weigh each group in kilograms. Within each group, we want to know how much is hard plastic, film plastic, and styrofoam, for example. So we carefully divide it, count it, and weigh it by subgroups. We keep track of all of this on our data sheets so that we can check our work. When compared to other shallow beaches, the debris we collected was comparatively very less. Finally, we share our results with local policymakers and stakeholders. This is the most important step, because it's important to collect scientifically valid data, but even more important, to put it into the hands of people who can demand policy change. Marine debris is a global problem, but can be very different depending on the local context. The point of this work is to gather replicable, valid, empirical evidence about local conditions to enable change. The idea is not to clean all the world's beaches. The idea is to create data that scientists can use to better understand the problem and to share the results with people who can make a difference. If you use replicable scientific methods, your data can be used by others. When you inform policymakers, they can use what you've learned to create policy that can solve the problem. So the idea behind this project is marine debris is a big global environmental problem. And a lot of people around the world recognize that it's a problem and they want to do something about it. Uh, so they might in their communities do things like have cleanup events, which is great, that's a good thing. But I think that um, it's really important that we don't just clean up beaches, but that we do it in a systematic and scientific way so that the results can be used to influence policy. Because I'm really trying to make connections between science and policy. Scientists can use their methods to try to understand a problem, um, but really someone has to apply what they've learned to make changes in the world and to solve the problem. So join us. Transform your shoreline cleanup to make it more powerful. You can find materials, guides, and more information freely available on our website. View the data that we and other teams around the world have collected on our ResearchGate page. 
transform your shoreline cleanup to solve the problem of plastic pollution.